Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy, and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel, and this is my performance review of the Nike Cosmic Unity. So this shoe is going for 150 bucks. This specific colorway was going for $160 for some reason. Maybe it's just like a special colorway or something. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like the shoe that Anthony Davis was wearing. It's kind of like his shoe, but not really. It's kind of like how Blake Griffin had the Superflies, but it wasn't really his signature shoe. He just kind of like repped it. So anyways, if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. But let's get it start off with the Tractiones. And we got herringbone. We got nice herringbone throughout this entire outsole. And how does it perform it performs eh like it's it's pretty good it's good you know like it didn't have the best stop but it stopped and uh it didn't really slip out like all too much even on like hard lateral movements but it just wasn't like the best stop you know so uh i'd say it's good you know uh and consistent but i wish the stop was a little bit harder and also durability is trash you know if you look at the highway areas especially where the ball of my foot is the rubber is ripping off like crazy. So if you're like playing on outdoor court, I would suggest that you don't, you know? <laughs> uh, if you're playing on indoor court, you should be fine, but outdoor court is probably not the best option. All right, moving on to the heel to toe transition. It's pretty nice, you know? I wish there was a little bit more curve here in the forefoot. You know, like, if you look at the shape of the outsole, it's actually quite flat. And I know like there's a good amount of people that don't care, you know, like about heel to toe transition. Like I've seen some people balling in like Jordan 12 and they say it's their favorite shoe to ball in. I'm like, that's crazy because the 12 feels like a little boot to me, you know? Um, but for me, it's pretty important, especially my ball shoes. So uh, here in the heel, we have a pretty nice curved shape and it's foam. It's exposed foam. Nothing is caged. So uh, it's pretty smooth here in the heel. And then here in the forefoot, I mean, we it's still a pretty curved shape, but just not as much as like Nike usually does it. It's a little bit more flat like Adidas shoes. Um, but yeah, it's still not bad. And I guess the good thing is there is a good amount of forefoot flex. So it slaps just a tiny bit just a tiny bit, not terrible or anything. And then heel to toe transition is pretty damn smooth overall. Moving on to the cushioning setup, that is my favorite part about this shoe and it's using full length zoom strobel. It's pretty much the same exact unit we've seen here in the KD13 and the KD12 and the zoom universe, right? So it feels really nice right underneath your foot. You feel that zoom sensation and uh, it's bouncy. You get good impact protection, but also court feel is really nice. So zoom strobel is awesome. I love it. And a lot of people, a lot of you guys love it as well. It's just a nice ideal cushioning setup. There's really nothing wrong about the cushioning setup. I really don't have anything bad to say about the cushioning setup. I feel like most people will enjoy it. So this shoe overall is made up of recycled materials, you know, like this foam. They're using crater foam and uh, that's just recycled foams that they've used. I mean, the heel compression is pretty bad. Uh, I mean, this foam, you, I thought it was gonna be super nice and soft, but it's actually quite stiff. But I guess it's better than just like full on like cage, like rubber cage or something, you know? So you, you don't expect anything really from the midsole. Uh, you're mostly getting uh, everything from the zoom unit. All right, moving on to the materials. The materials are pretty nice, right? So at first it was actually a little stiff. When I first put the shoe on, it was a little uncomfortable. But now that it's broken in, it's actually quite soft. Um, I would say it's a little bit thicker than I would like, just like uh, what I prefer in my ball shoes. I like to have a thinner material, but it's still like soft and comfortable on foot. And then here for the tongue, we have a good amount of padding and it's quite oversized. So uh, it's, it's a pretty large tongue. And here in the ankle area, we have a good amount of padding as well. So uh, overall, the materials are nice. It's soft, it's supportive. Uh, it conforms to your foot quite well. Uh, it's just a little bit thicker than uh, I would like. That's about it. That's like the only bad thing I could say about the materials. All right, moving on to the fit of the shoe. The, the shoe fits me quite well. So I went true to size and uh, my foot is pretty much right at the edge. So uh, true to size should be good for most of you guys as well. Uh, width wise, I would say it's uh, around normal to slightly narrow. I can feel like this part. You know this foam as you guys can see it's kind of it's kind of like squeezing uh my foot a little bit uh just a tiny bit it doesn't hurt or anything and it's not uncomfortable i can just feel it a little bit and then here in the toe box it's not super snug i would say it's a little bit roomier than i would like but i like to have my shoes like very very snug here in the toe box so uh, i would say it's a normal fit for the toe box and then uh, also the shoe is very easy to put on you know you have a pretty high heel tab and the tongue does open up quite a bit so the fit for me was actually very nice. All right, moving on to the support and lockdown. Support and lockdown was uh, good. You know, for lateral containment, I had no issues. As you guys can see here on the lateral side, we have the foam coming up a lot here in, in the forefoot, here in the midfoot, and here in the heel. And also we have uh, like this 
like the foam coming up a lot and probably an internal TPU heel counter. We have the swoosh, the material is pretty damn supportive. So lateral containment, I had no issues. And also for lateral stability, I had no issues. As you guys can see, there's really no outrigger, but the foam and the outsole do protrude out a good amount here in the forefoot. So I was laterally stable and all that. Uh, like I said, it's a very, very flat base, right? Uh, one thing that I will note though, like what I said here in the first impressions is that the heel slippage was kind of bad and uh, it never really locked down my heel like uh, like really, really well. You know, I didn't have any issues to the, to the point where it's like unplayable for me and it wasn't to the point where it was just super uncomfortable and I hated playing in the Cosmic Unities, but it just didn't feel completely locked down here in the heel for me. So that was just kind of annoying, you know what I'm saying? Like no matter how tight, I mean, if I tighten the laces like really tight, then obviously the heel slippage would be a lot less. But you know, the laces do loosen up while you're playing ball. So uh, it was just something that I, I noticed and it was just kind of annoying. So just watch out for that. I wish it, it had better heel containment. But other than that, support and lockdown for me, I had no issues. Uh, moving on to the weight of the shoe, if I remember correctly, it was like around average weight, I think. I mean, like 13 ounces, 12.5, oh, 13.33 ounces. So it's a little bit heavier than uh, normal. Like, so the average weight of my shoes is around 12 and a half ounces. And uh, does this shoe feel light? Not really. Um, it feels actually a little bulky and, and a little heavy. So like I said, for the materials, the materials are a little bit thicker. And then uh, you can see from the bubbling of the midsole and especially here in the heel, uh, it's just it, it just feels a little bulky and it's just not like a very like light feeling shoe as compared to like you know like the curry h or the puma clyde all pros i'm not saying it's super bulky and super heavy or anything like that it's just not what i would prefer you know what i'm saying in my preference i would prefer like the puma clyde all pro where it's just like super minimal um but if you don't if you don't mind that you don't really care about weight and bulkiness this definitely is not terrible or anything i'm just saying it's a little bit on the bulkier side and a little bit on the heavier side of things one thing i would change though is the materials like i would definitely make the materials especially here in the toe box a little bit thinner uh, but that's about it. So there is the weight there. Uh, as far as the ventilation goes, ventilation isn't the best. Uh, like I said, like I keep saying actually, the materials are on the thicker side. So airflow isn't the best and it retains heat pretty well and the tongue is pretty thick and all that. So uh, ventilation is not the best. This shoe is actually quite hot. All right, moving on to the aesthetics. I actually like it. It's one of my favorite shoes that Nike has to offer uh, right now. I feel like it's a really good looking shoe and the colorways that are that are coming out and that have come out are really dope as well. I would say this is my least favorite. <laughs> I like the green glow better and I really like the Air Mag colorway, but I guess I just got this colorway for some reason. So tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So wrapping things up, the Cosmic Unity is super nice. I would say it feels a little bit different than the KD-13, like very similar to the KD-13, but also different you know what i'm saying like it's it's cozier it's thicker it's like nicer quality um but like a little bit bulkier so i would say this like if you want a little bit more of a better quality kd13 as far as like the materials go and i guess like a little bit more support but like the kd13 really didn't have any support issues for me then uh the cosmic unity is a very good option and i feel like most people will enjoy it as well like whatever play style you have whatever position you play this shoe will probably like cover all of that you know uh it has nice cushion good impact protection good support and even if you're a guard and you want a super light shoe i mean this shoe you can definitely work with it you know so yeah this shoe will definitely be in my rotation i really liked playing in it so yeah that about wraps up this video again if you guys do want to cop the cosmic unity i'll leave a link in the description box but that's it Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.